Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. So I finally took him for a flight after adding a 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor. Uh, the noise was gone, uh, there's no flickers, no nothing. I just enjoyed it and it was a blast. However, it was faster this time. Uh, I've tightened up the um, the flight controller and it removed most of the oscillations. It was, it was flying pretty good actually. I didn't even need to tune it. However, I didn't get to tune it because I broke the VTX so out in one of the crashes. But it was a lot faster. Um, these propellers are very good. These are the Racer Star 5048. So I really enjoy these and I do recommend you just buy a pair and try them out. Because I did not expect them to be this good. So they come like in a pair of 20. So you, so you have, that's very good. You got like five sets. I believe, yeah, five sets of props. So these these are my cheap go-to now instead of the King Kongs. I'm glad they were out of stock. So to get to try these. I really love them. They, they were very good. I didn't expect them to be this good, actually. So I broke the first set, and then I put these on, and it was just amazing. It just changed the quad completely. Uh, this quad is very good. I like it. However, it does flex. And some pe a lot of people are having problems with this one. The reason why I got lucky with it is because I'm using 2408 motors. So everyone's motors would be a lot lower. And that can be the reason why they're break, uh, hitting. And sometimes I see on the back part, there's a little nix and stuff. But this time it's a little bit better. But I can, I can kind of see the wear. See, as you can see, it's very close. So uh, luckily, I, I just lucked out with these motors. So when you buy this frame, be careful. Um, you might have to use a Dremel to cut out some of the sides. Or just get your money back and then just use the Dremel. And then do that. And then that's what I would do. And um, try to fix it after that. Um, and yeah so for me this frame was good on these motors uh, some people are going to have problems there's a lot of people complaining um i didn't have any of those problems because I, I just lucked out with bigger motors so i had a comment when i was building this or when i was reviewing it he said the same thing which was i was very worried actually because it does flex this frame so it's it's a nice frame it really looks beautiful it flies good too um and that's it so i'm gonna leave you guys with the footage of the flight and the fpv footage as well uh, on the bottom uh, just note I was using just a, a rubber ducky here one of these kind because I didn't have any more um, of those uh, cloverleaf antennas at that time so the, the the reception wasn't that good sometimes you could see it just um, not, it's not a blackout but it's more like a lost signal you, you guys know this stuff so I don't need to tell you uh, the DVR makes it look more noisy than it is actually it was absolutely clean I had no noise nothing no lines it was just absolutely fine so um yeah that's it it was just perfect and it was a good quad and it feels reliable and these ESCs are good these motors are good the flight controller is good everything about it is good the frame maybe not good for some people but for me i lucked out so I, it was good for me uh because i use such fat motors but if you're going to do the same setup as me you're going to be fine uh you're, you're actually going to have a blast and uh, this can take a 5s so that, that'll be crazy but you'll need to put a 35 volt capacitor. So, and again, all I did was just add a 470, not a thousand, 470 low ESR, uh, 25 volt Panasonic capacitor. So, and that cleaned everything up. I could have used more, but there was no need, obviously. There was no need at all. So, luckily, I just tried this one first. Like I said in my previous videos when we were testing, I think one should do it, and one just absolutely cleaned everything. So, I'm very happy, and um, I'm very glad that that actually worked. And th this is a very good quad. I'm, I'm really loving it. It's very much fun to fly. And, however, it's just the, the battery comes down so hot. Uh, these motors need a 5S, so that's the only thing that's really bothering me with this one. I need to buy some 5S batteries for this guy. But other than that, it's just good. So I'm going to leave you enough talking for me. I'm going to leave you guys with the footage you guys see for yourself. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.